All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend Tarot. So today we're taking a look at what is currently blocking you in life and love. So we're going to see, um, you know, specifically what is getting in the way, what is something that, or what are the things that essentially you need to work on, okay? Um, so if you guys want to book something personal with me, my information is down below in the description box. I also offer online courses and guided meditations. In addition, I have the Anxiety Relief Crystal Set if you're interested in purchasing that. All of the information for Everything I just listed will be in the description box down below. Okay, but let's start off. We're going to use the energy oracle and see. So, Spirit, what do your viewers need to know when it comes to what's blocking them right now in life and love? What is currently blocking you? What is currently blocking you in life and love? What is currently blocking you? Oh, okay. So we have hostilities. So this is a card of having your defenses up, being very guarded. This could also be a card of anger um, and resentment. So I don't know if you've recently had an argument with someone um, or possibly if something has happened in the past where it's you've become sort of closed off or you have your guard up because it's almost like you're expecting the worst, you know? Like... This hostilities card specifically does say um, having your defenses up. So typically we do that when we're expecting to have to fight or we're expecting to have to defend ourselves, right? So you're kind of in this like defensive energy, um, which is not super receptive right now. So let's get a little bit of detail on why, um, why you're in this energy right now. Keep in mind, this is general, all right? So if it doesn't resonate, it may not be for you. Just take the messages that do. Leave those that don't. If you guys want to book something personal, um, then you have that option as well. Okay, so let's take a look and see. Why do we have hostilities here? Why is hostilities here? The Five of Cups, okay. So there's some sort of loss that you guys have experienced with the Five of Cups, and I see that you've been really struggling to get over this loss. So maybe instead of dealing with the emotional impact of like a disappointment in your life, um, you're just guarded, okay? You might also be waiting for an apology from someone here as well, okay? For some of you, I just heard, <clears throat> and this is going to be a specific message, this might not be for everyone, um, you might have regret about not setting a boundary with someone, so now you're almost super defensive is what I'm hearing, because with the Page of Cups and the Five of Cups, like, you might be waiting for an apology, but I just heard, like, you might have allowed someone to overstep a boundary, so now you're in this super defensive energy, right? Um, so just be aware of that as well. Like, if we don't set boundaries with people along the way, then oftentimes we can kind of build resentment, and um, that can come out in a very intense way, so that could also be the case. But I see here that it's very likely that you're probably in the, or in an argument, or kind of there's some tension between you and someone. I don't know if this is a love interest, a friend, a family member, but there's specifically some tension between between you and another person and someone needs to apologize. I don't know if this is you or them. Maybe you want to be the bigger person in this situation. I'm not exactly sure, but I feel like someone needs to step up and apologize because this is actually blocking you right now because it's got you in this energy of being defensive probably with other people in your life as well, you know, because sometimes when we're when we are in a negative place with other people, it can kind of flood over into like our other connections. Um, so I'm seeing some hostile energy that needs to be released here because it is blocking you right now. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. So Spirit, what's blocking my viewers right now when it comes to life and love? What's blocking my viewers when it comes to life and love? Okay, so we have the door to spirit card in reverse. Okay. Um which is really interesting. So it looks like some of you guys might be sort of avoiding your spiritual lessons right now or avoiding your spiritual path. You know, um, oftentimes in life, you know, we're, we're, we're always being guided. We're always being called to choose our higher path or higher self. So some of you might be kind of, because you're maybe a little bit hostile right now or maybe you're stuck in sort of like the 3D illusion, you might be forgetting the spiritual aspect, okay? So you might be caught up in like just mundane stuff that's going on in your world, forgetting that there's like a greater um, 
vision happening. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify this. Door to spirit, please. Uh, please, spirit. <laughs> yeah, we have acceptance. Okay. We have freedom. And we have relationships. Yes, yeah, so I feel like a lot of you, this has to do with your relationships. Okay, some of you guys are maybe feeling like you don't have that freedom right now when it comes to your relationships. You might feel like your relationships are very like, um, constrained and maybe difficult right now. And so what Spirit's wanting you to do is release this, okay? Like this card of acceptance is about accepting the things that we cannot change, right? Which is difficult. But this is about letting go of the difficulty when it comes to um, your relationships because every relationship, every person that you encounter is teaching you something, right? Um, so you're being called now to release anything that doesn't serve you, um, especially like when it comes to your relationships and you're being called to see this from a higher perspective because I feel like a lot of you might be approaching your relationships from just that 3D limited point of view of like, you did this to me, so I'm going to hold this grudge, da, 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 da. But when we look at things from a higher perspective, we see how we play, play a role in everything, right? When we look at things from a higher perspective, we know that we created every experience so we have to look at okay well what in me created this experience um or for this person to react in this way so you're being called to kind of come back to your spirituality a little bit you're a little lost in the 3d at this point okay for those of you who are unaware of the 3d i don't know if i, I can get into that maybe someone in the comments can explain if you're unfamiliar with 3d 4d 5d in terms of like dimensions and consciousness then someone please <laughs> explain down below. But I think a lot of you will have that understanding already anyways, okay? All right, so let's see, what else is blocking you? What else is blocking you when it comes to life and love? Okay, oh wow, so interesting energy. So we have the card of commitment that came out right next to fragmented energy. So these cards really wanted to come out together. So let's get a little bit of detail and see why this is coming through. Um, I just heard it. some of you might be in marriages that you're needing to get out of. You know it. It's like you know you need to get out of. Yeah, literally as I say that, we have the four of wands. So I have a couple messages coming through, so just hold off. You're going to get different messages, so keep in mind... Um, this is a general reading. So take the message that resonates with you. If you know you're not married, then obviously this is not going to resonate. But for those of you who are married, I just heard, um, what's blocking you is literally being married, being in a contract with someone that you know doesn't serve you anymore, or you know that the marriage is not working. Like, you know that you're not supposed to be in that marriage anymore, yet you're still holding on to it. Okay, because we literally have clarifying that is the marriage card, the four of wands. So, um, yeah, for those of you, this is specifically for those of you who are, who are married, what's blocking you in life and love is you're married to someone that you know you don't want to be married to. So you've got to ask yourself, why am I still in this commitment? Is it because of financial reasons? Is it because of the kids? Why? So you're being called to really question that because this is something that's blocking you. Um, now let's get a message for those of you who aren't married. Let's see why. Whoops. Now, this doesn't necessarily just have to be for marriage. This could also be if you're just in a long-term commitment with someone that you know it's not working. Okay, sorry, these cards fell out. Okay, so for those who are not, yeah, for the other ones who are not married, you are too focused. It's almost like you're waiting too much for it. You're too focused on getting married. Um, you're too obsessive over marriage. Like, it, I don't know if you have a timeline. We have a seven of pentacles, the devil, the five of pentacles, and the knight of cups for those of you who are not married or not in a relationship right now. And what's blocking you is that you're too obsessed over like, well, I have to be in a relationship by this time or too obsessed with like the timing of it. You might be like kind of a hopeless romantic, but I get the sense that this is this like strong desire to be in a commitment is actually stemming from your abandonment wounds. So it's almost, it's not necessarily that you want to be in a commitment. It's almost like your inner child is like, I need to have someone so that way I don't have to feel alone. Okay. 
Um, let's clarify fragmented energy. So it's just that mentality. It doesn't mean that you can't be in a commitment. It just means that you have to look at what is your driving force? What's the intention behind wanting to be in a commitment for those of you who aren't? Because that driving force, that intention, if it's not coming from love, is going to block the very thing that you want. Let's see why fragmented energy is here. Why is fragmented energy here? The six of wands and the king of swords. I'm seeing a lot of ego, okay? So um, the other message I'm getting here is that, and this is kind of unrelated to marriage and commitment, is that a lot of you right now, you're not able to create things in your life as fast as you want right now because your energy is fragmented. So specifically, the way in which your energy is fragmented right now is that sometimes you go towards like your heart, you follow your heart, but then sometimes you follow your ego in your mind, okay? Um, and I feel like what Spirit is saying here is you're being called to feel things out rather than think so logically about things. Now, this doesn't mean like being irrational and acting out of like impulsive emotions, but a lot of you guys, it's like what's driving you is your ego. The Six of Wands with the King of Swords. It's like almost a self-protection, like your ego is running the show right now and it's, and it's fragmenting your energy because it's almost like your soul is trying to direct you somewhere and you're being called intuitively like through your emotions in one direction, but then your ego is pulling you in a different direction. And so it's creating this sort of fragmented energy where nothing is actually moving forward. So if you find that, you know, you want to move forward in your career or you want to move forward in your, in your love life, but you feel like you keep hitting a wall, it's because your energy is being pulled in two different directions. So you're needing to align more with your soul and kind of, it's like letting go of this ego. This ego is a self-protection thing, but it's not serving you when it comes to creating the life that you want and the life that you desire, okay? Um, all right, so let's see what the advice is. So what is the advice for those who are watching? What is the advice for those who are watching? What is the advice for those who are watching? Oh, just one, please, Spirit. Wow, there's a lot that's wanting to come through. What's the advice? Wow. Yeah, see? Okay. I feel like one of the big messages here is a lot of you guys are needing to get out of your head and really start feeling things out when it comes to making decisions in your life. So we have honor your feelings. Um, Archangel Haniel, and it says, thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. So this is about not, you know, pushing your emotions to the side but really honoring that your emotions are connected to your intuition. And when you get in, in tune with that, um, what happens is you're, you're then guided, right? You're then guided by your soul and then you can make decisions. I don't mean emotionally driven decisions. This is about balancing logic and emotions, but a lot of you guys are too logical right now. Like you're looking at things as just too logical and it's stepping you away from this like spiritual connection, okay? So huge message here to really get in tune with your emotions because I feel like once you do this, things are gonna become very clear. You might not even need to watch tarot readings because you're going to intuitively know what you need to do um, in the next step for you, okay? So that is what I have for you guys. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you wanna book your own personal reading, as always, my information is down below in the description box, okay? But I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.